This week, we were called about a situation in which an owner had lost access to their snakes. We went today to identify the species, but decided to take them with us immediately when we discovered they had been without food, water, or heat for a month. Please do not say anything negative about the owners in the comments. This situation was out of their control. All of the animals were in sizable cages and we could tell thought had been put into their care. This large ball python appears to be very healthy and in good condition considering the circumstances. So we went ahead and bagged her up. The next animal was a juvenile reticulated python. He also appears to be active, alert, and in decent condition. We believe this snake is a male. He did have one small wound that was mostly healed, which could have been caused by a rodent or he might have just nicked it on something in the cage. The third animal is the one that we're really, really concerned about. This is a juvenile boa constrictor and he is absolutely covered in mites. He was acting very lethargic, so we knew immediately something was wrong. We've seen a lot of mite cases, but we've never seen this many mites before. You can literally see them crawling all over him. Once we got home, we worked on soaking all three snakes in some water with a little bit of Dawn dish soap. Because the boa had mites, we had to assume they all had mites and treat them as such. Luckily, we didn't find a single mite on this ball python. We decided to call her Naga. While she was a little hissy at times, she was fairly calm considering the situation. We believe it's likely these animals haven't even had light for the past month. We're going to call the retic Dante, and we only found one mite on Dante. Unfortunately, as you can see, the boa constrictor is not looking good. He opened his mouth as soon as we started working with him and was exhibiting some very strange behavior. The sheer amount of mites was insane. They were floating in the water, crawling all over him and us. While a mite infestation is never good, one of this severity on a young snake is very dangerous. He's thin, dehydrated, and definitely anemic. We're going to go ahead and call him Pongo, but to be honest, we're afraid he might not even make it through the night. We decided to hold off on feeding him because he's most likely going to need to be tube fed and we didn't want to stress him out any further. But we did go ahead and give him some subcutaneous fluids. It's going to take many treatments to get rid of the mites completely and we're hoping he makes it long enough for us to try. If you'd like to donate towards their care, the link is in our bio.